It's been almost a week since they took to the streets, protesting against a fifth term for President Bouteflika, who at 81 years old has been in power for two decades. In a country where half the population is less than 30 years old, the young are at the front line of the protests. Among France's Algerian population, there's also concern. The situation in Algeria is very serious because the system is corrupt. We cannot continue with this system. He doesn't fulfill the conditions to stand. He's unfit. He's incapable of speaking or thinking. The president's given no speeches and has appeared only a few times in public since suffering a stroke in 2013. He's currently receiving medical care in Switzerland and has made no comment on the protests. The government, while recognizing the right to protest, warned against threatening the country's stability. I'm not trying to scare the people. No. I'm not trying to take advantage of the past. But we should recall that in Syria, it also began with roses. State media only started covering the protests on Tuesday after journalists publicly complained they were being prevented from doing so. On Thursday, police broke up a protest against censorship, taking a dozen journalists into custody for several hours before releasing them.